everybody, it's Miss Marcia from the Germantown Public Library. I'm here again to do another craft and I hope you will enjoy it. This week we're making little pom-pom creatures. This little guy I made a couple of days ago. He consists of two pom-poms and a little bit of felt, a couple of beads for eyes, and it was really as simple as that. Um, we are going, you, everybody's going to have cardboard in their packages. They're going to have two balls of yarn. They're going to have a, a baggie that has some other little goodies, felt and um, beads for eyes. So you'll be ready to make whatever you'd like. There's also going to be included a picture of all kinds of creatures that you can make with pom-poms. Once you learn how to make them, you can make as many as you want. Um, there were, I put these in the bags. I tried making pom-poms out of these. There's two of them. You wrap the yarn around these pieces of cardboard and when you get it all done, you cut the outside, you put a piece of string through the middle, tie it in a knot and it makes a pom-pom and it's a very nice pom-pom. But this method is much more difficult. You can try it if you want, I'll leave them in the bags. Um, if you are really inclined to try and do it, get on Pinterest and look, look this up. It's pom-pom uh, DIY. Um, the way that I'm going to show you is just with a plain piece of cardboard. Super easy for young and old. Even Miss Marcia can do it. So you guys can do it too. Um, you're gonna take a piece of yarn, start on one end. We're gonna start wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. And we're gonna wrap it around, I would say at least, make it as thick as you can. That's what I would say. We're just gonna keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping. Maybe even a hundred times. We're gonna wrap it around the cardboard until it's nice and thick. Once we get it all wrapped, just like this one, we're gonna cut it just like that. Slide it off of the cardboard. If, if you're having a hard time, you can always bend the cardboard just slightly and it'll make it easier to come off. We wanna hold it in the middle. Don't let it go once it comes off the cardboard because that's what's gonna make your pom-poms. Take the string or the yarn that's left over. We're gonna tie a knot right smack dab in the middle of it. There we go. Once we get that done, cut it off. And we're gonna take all the yarn that we just wrapped around the cardboard and we're gonna cut it on each end, just like this. We're gonna puff it up. As you can see, you can make it thicker than what I just made it. It's not that thick, the one that I made, but it is a puff and um, you might miss some, so you wanna go back over and, and look and, and cut off, cut the little pieces that aren't cut. Once you get all that done, I want you to take your scissors and start making the puff ball into a circle because you'll have pieces that are kind of stragglers if you want it to be nice and round, okay? Once you're all done cutting it, it's gonna look like this. And this, if you make two of them, which I would, um, it took uh, two of them to make the little bird that I made, like this. The smaller your piece of cardboard, so if I cut this in half, the smaller your puff ball is going to be, okay? So as you can see, I had a shorter piece of cardboard. It was probably about that size, rather than the about, three, four inch size, um, and it made smaller puffs. Once you're done, I want you to take your handy dandy hot glue gun, put a little bit of glue on it, stick the two pom-poms together, add your eyes with the um, hot glue gun and your beak or whatever you make. If you make a, a, a bird, you're gonna add the little beak. 
and I don't know what happened to my pieces, but here's the little beak. Everybody will have something in their kit that they can make the face with. Also, there's gonna be extra um, felt in your kits. You can make wings for your little birds or you can make um, ears if you decide to make a bunny or whatever you decide to make. There will be felt that you can change it up uh, to, to be something you like. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next week we're making bears with wood and felt and they are adorable and it's super easy. I hope you'll come back and join me for another craft time here at the Germantown Public Library. Thanks, bye.